Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on a Living Dead doll that I just recently ordered through Target. As their shipping and handling is a lot cheaper, but it took about maybe four or five days for it to get delivered. And it was actually delivered a lot sooner than I thought. It was actually supposed to be delivered on Wednesday. Uh, come to find out, it came in today along with my uh, Return of the Living Dead metal signs. I have one based on the Unita. Uh, the warehouse sign. I do have that one hanging up. I just uh, took a picture of it I will be posting it on my other video So you can see it towards the end of the video what it looks like along with the masks So we're gonna be touching base on this living dead doll. It is in fact Reagan uh, McNeil, okay, it's the 1973 Exorcist mom movie. It's the very first movie that I seen horror wise uh, That really took me uh, it captivated me to the point that I became totally obsessed with horror movies as well as Halloween. This movie started it all for me. This is in fact the epitome of horror movies for me. It is still a classic in its own right. There are a lot of good movies out there that are based on The Exorcist, uh, The Pope's Exorcist. Uh, that one is actually pretty decent. It's got a different twist to it, but it is a pretty good movie for the most part. But this one here is the, is the, the quintessential uh, classic of all, of all of the uh, horror movies when it comes to possessions and stuff. But I wanted a Reagan doll, and I actually searched on Big Bad Toy Store. Too expensive. The shipping and handling is like $15 a pop. Um, Amazon, obviously, they're charging like, what is it, like 80, 90 bucks for these damn things not counting the shipping and handling so that's why I went to Target because the shipping and handling was only like five dollars for it so it literally just came to like sixty four dollars for this uh, particular um, um, toy or figure if you want to call it okay but anyway what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually shut this down and I'm gonna let you see the box and we'll get right into it there are other videos based on this particular figure but I'm gonna give you my interpretation okay so let's go ahead and shut this down. All right. First of all, I do like the writing on this here. All right. It's the Living Dead Dolls. Very cool looking box. Same here. The Exorcist, okay. Presents The Exorcist. Okay, and I will get into the actual figure in itself, okay. And I will be pulling it out of its box. Side art, very reminiscent to the actual poster art. Okay. Now it's always good to save these boxes, and I've saved all my Living Dead bo um, Living Dead doll boxes. I got them in a closet, and I used to save my NECA figures and stuff, but it's gotten to the point that there was too many of those, so I end up throwing some of them away. But anyway, there's some uh, writing there. If you want to actually read it, you can uh, go ahead and stop the video and check it out. But anyway, this is Reagan. I think this is the way I'm going to actually pose her on my stand along with the other ones. I'm going to have her sitting down and have her head twisted the opposite way. I think that would be very cool. Let, let Jesus fuck you. Let Jesus fuck you. <laughs> That's what she says in the film. But anyway. We're going to go ahead and get into this. And let me show you the top of the box. Okay. The bottom of the box. All right. Now, I will be right back as I will take this thing out of its box. Be right back. Okay, we are back. And we're going to take a look at the doll outside of the box. It did take a little bit of time to get her out. But this is, in fact, a Mezco figure, so you just so you're aware of it. It's not NECA or any of these other um, companies and stuff. Uh, Mezco in itself, they're a little bit more pricier, but the detail on their figures or any of their toys are, are you know, quite superior in a way, uh, especially when it comes to these kind of dolls and stuff. The Living Dead dolls, in my opinion, were always some of the coolest things that I've, you know, I've seen. And they got a bunch of uh, different ones. They don't, they, they go outside of the realm of actually um, dealing with different types of characters that are not as popular TV wise or movie wise but they somehow exist in other people's minds 
So there are a lot of people out there that do collect these things, but they don't necessarily collect the movie character types like I do. Uh, I, I want to get the actual pinhead from Hellraiser 3, but right now they are charging $169 for that, and that's not worth $169 in my opinion. But uh, but I do have the ghost face. If you check out my video, I will leave a link down below. It does show my entire collection of Living Dead dolls. And I just recently just did that last week. So it does uh, touch base on all the seven figures that I got in my uh, room. So you might want to check that out. I will leave a link down below this video so you can go ahead and check that out. Or better yet, I'll actually connect it to the video at the end of the video then you can go ahead and check out that video too as well but anyway this is Regan McNeil okay from the 1973 uh, movie The Exorcist like I said it is the quintessential possession movie and it's probably the most recognized of the bunch they did make a bunch of other exorcist, uh, exorcist movies uh, that are somehow based on Regan and then and they stretch outside of that but those movies are actually pretty good if you're into possession movies they're actually pretty decent um, they are in fact doing I don't know if it's a reboot or they're remaking it the original Exorcist uh, I'm not sure how they're working that whether they're gonna do a Reagan or a completely different uh, philosophy when it comes to the uh, possession thing but we'll see what they're gonna do with that but anyway that should be coming out in 2024, I believe. So, waiting for that. Anyway, let me go ahead and shut down the turntable and show you Reagan up close and personal. In the meantime, I'm going to pull this back a bit. Okay. Now, first of all, we got to get her hair just right. I like my dollies. <laughs> this is the first time, you know, when it comes to a guy actually liking dolls, okay? These are some serious things to collect, I'll tell you that. Now, the main reason I picked this one up, it is the 10-inch figure. Based on Reagan, there is another figure, but I think it's smaller. But the face and everything is a little bit different. I wanted something a little bit more detailed, so I chose this one here. And it's about 60 bucks for one of these, if you go into the right places. But right now, these are high priced. The more popular the, the actual character is, the more expensive it's going to be. Like the Michael Myers one, it's up there in price. Uh, Pinhead, obviously that's $170 for that one. Reagan, in some places, is like $70, $80, $90. Alright, but anyway, let's give you a close-up shot of this here. Let's pull her hair away from her face. Now you can see she's got some visible scars as she went through it in the movie. are spooky okay her hair very natural auburn color okay but like I said when it comes to this particular Reagan you want to muff this hair up a little bit so she looks a little on the crazy side you know what I'm saying but I'll get that going anyway that's the hair okay the hands the articulation of this doll is like every other doll uh, the arms do move they twist on a ball joint okay let's see okay okay the actual body in itself let's grab it I'm not trying to be a pervert here guys but it does have articulation in the legs but it's very tight which is good so you can stand these things she also has some visible scars on her legs okay I don't know if the lighting is doing its justice But anyway, she does got some scars there, see? Okay, well anyway, the articulation is pretty much the same as all the other uh, Living Dead dolls. The arms, they swing on a ball joint. And so you can kind of just do whatever you want with it. I'm going to have her sitting down with her head twisted, okay? Alright, so the feet, as you can see, they're big. I do have Toonie Terra's version of uh, Reagan. That one is actually pretty cool, nicely detailed. NECA does a nice job on their figures as well. Okay, now that's the nightgown that she wore. It doesn't have the actual puke or anything like that, but I'm sure somewhere along the lines, 
they might do something along those lines. Like um, the Toonie Taro's version does have her puking. So it does have the puke, um, kind of like an atomic breath or Godzilla. You stick it in her mouth and she's, you know, puking. But uh, outside of that, no. I'd like to see them do a living dead doll where she's got puke on her face and down her, her dress. That would be cool. Right. But anyway, that is my living dead doll based on Reagan. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to have her sitting down. Just kind of... Still got some stuff left in her cables and stuff. From when she was tied in. Okay. Okay. Hang on for a second here. There we go. We're going to twist her damn head. Now, the articulation in the head, um, for obvious reasons, as you can clearly see. Okay, I'm going to turn that. Alright. So, with this in mind, the articulation in the head is just like all the other living dead dolls. They can consp uh, spin completely around. They're literally a doll. Okay, so I'm going to readjust this. So I can lower her down. Okay, and then we're going to move in on that. I accidentally shut it off. I'm sorry about that, guys. But anyway, that's Reagan with her head turned around. All right, right there. Which is where I'm thinking I'm leaving on the, uh, the bookcase with the other Living Dead dolls. I'm going to leave her sitting just like that. Yep. They're like, what's wrong with her? She's freaking out. But anyway, that is my Living Dead doll based on Reagan. Let me pull that back a bit. Okay. I've been looking forward to getting this one too. So there you are guys. Okay, that is my Living Dead doll. Now as the other ones come in, I do got a Pennywise coming in. And I also got a Wednesday from uh, with Jenna Ortega, that version. That's also going to be coming in. It's in pre-order. So when those two come in, we will definitely do videos on those as well. But in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys at the next video. You have yourselves a good night.